Hi everyone, Melissa here, cloudmom.com. So the debate about overparenting continues to rage, and psychologist and author Madeline Levine is telling us to back off and to chill out, basically. I just read, I didn't read her book, but I read a very interesting review of her book in the Washington Post, and I read a piece that she wrote about the condition of modern children. It was really, really interesting. The title of her book is, I'll read it to you, Teach Your Children Well, Parenting for Authentic Success. So, Ms. Levine covers a lot of territory in her book, clearly, and I can't really summarize it here in this vlog, but I thought I would just talk about one thing that really resonated with me as a mother of a couple kids, and that is this notion that it's very important to let children, even from an early age, develop their own interests, and to really be able to cultivate and decide what is satisfying to them on their own, rather than to have them just engage in all these activities where they get praise and they get feedback and Miss Levine claims that people who have this approach that they just do things so that others will praise them can take this on into their adult lives and they can end up feeling completely empty because they don't have a lot of satisfaction from what they do. So this really did resonate with me because I myself was someone who was caught for many years in a job that I didn't totally like. I actually liked aspects of it, but there were parts of it that weren't fulfilling to me at all. And I certainly don't want this to happen to my kids. And so I was thinking about what we do. And because I have so many, it happens a lot that everybody just goes in the same direction. Thursdays, we go to soccer. Mondays, we go to piano. Everybody goes to the same camp because I just can't administer having five kids be in different places doing different things. And I know in the past they've said things like, oh, we want to do karate, or we want to do painting, or we want to do this. And I really have had to not do all of that just because I couldn't get them all there. So this one in particular has really got me thinking I will say, I think I'm going to try to make an effort to allow them a little more to explore their own interests because it does seem like a really important thing to do. And I just have to show you guys one cute little thing that my eight-year-old brought home from camp where he did ceramics. He took his first ceramics class and he made this creature. I just thought it was so great. It's actually a piggy bank, but it's, 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 it's hollow on the bottom, but what a great concept. Anyway, look at what can happen when you allow your kids a little space to explore their own interests. I was going to put him in soccer camp, so I was happy that he made that ceramic. But anyway, if you have reactions to this book or how you're doing things or not doing things as a parent, please let me know what you think. Comment on my vlog below on cloudmom.com, and you can also tweet me at cloudmom. And thank you so much for watching.